बेल्जियम लाइफ इज गोइंग टू चेंज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री ओ माई गॉड यूरोप लाइफ विल बी जस्ट लाइक आई ड्रम ऑफ वाह भाई वाह ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स एंड कलीग्स इन यूरोप इनकी तो ऐश है दे आर हैविंग द टाइम ऑफ दर लाइफ आई विश माई लाइफ वॉज सो रॉकिंग लाइक दैट ऑन साइड ऑन साइड ऑन साइड ऑन साइड ऑन साइड ऑन साइड ऑन आई वर्क लाइक एनी थिंग बिकॉज आई एम सो डेस्परेट फॉर दैट ऑन साइड टू बेल्जियम यूरोप Are you any one of these people that you just saw? Then this video is just for you. If you are deciding to move on to Belgium or you are about to move to any of the countries in the Western Europe, you should know the dark side. You should know the negative points because you might have seen lots of positivities and you might have been dreaming of to move abroad to earn lots of money and just change your life for good. But do you know the negative sides? Do you know the dark sides? know these things watch the video till the end because i'll be sharing some authentic experience and based on that and the positive things that you know you will be able to make a good judgment and decide what you should do and what you should not do my goal is not to disrespect anybody or just to defame belgium but Honestly you should know before moving and taking such a huge step in your life when you change your country you move with your family and you move away from your family in some cases you should know what you are opting for and then only you will be able to make a wise judgment and decision that you will not regret later so watch the video till the end taxes are the pain area belgium is one of the highest taxing countries in the world so if you're coming here on a highly skilled visa which is very likely for your case you will end up paying up to 50% of the tax that's a lot so basically half of your earnings will go into the taxes salaries are also not very high here in belgium so do consider if you have other job offers from countries like uk or usa which are paying lot more to it professionals consider those offers before here because here the salary is not very high and like you saw in the last point taxes are also very high you end up saving very less amount Belgium is also very expensive so in order to find out cheap things in Belgium that you use for day to day life like your groceries you'll have to really break a leg and find out the right places right supermarkets and find stuff but in general it's expensive and i have observed this year the prices are just increasing like anything especially after the russia ukraine war and for an example the oil that we used to buy here for cooking used to cost around 1 euro for 1 liter anywhere between 1 euro to 2 euro but right now you will not get any cooking oil less than 5 euro so you can see how much the prices have just increased and how it is affecting the pockets of the people here energy prices are also just increasing like anything and people are just scared to receive their next energy bill so majorly here the prices of energy come under the category of petrol diesel and uh, heating gas at home and also the electricity all of these things have increased tremendously in the last one year and in the near future we don't see any hopes of any huge subsidies or reduction in these prices because of the geopolitical scenario in 2022 and 23 this month onwards because the winter is just round the corner people have started to heat up their homes but they are extremely scared and the government buildings the private offices have also been told to start the energy saving measures they have fixed the temperatures and they are not allowed to heat at a higher temperature which will take more energy so you can imagine the situation here when we talk about energy it's really critical and like it or not at the end of the day you will have to pay for all those prices so winter is coming and this year it's going to be harsh refugee crisis in europe these two terms have been used almost synonymously for almost a decade now wherever there is war stricken area just like middle east or african countries or any sensitive area europe has been impacted by refugee crisis and 
to add to the latest scenario it's the russia ukrainian war of this year which has caused tremendous influx of refugees and this is not just costing the government but also uh, private institutions and public infrastructure i have seen a tremendous change when i go out on any square any street there is an increased number of beggars homeless people the situation is really not good and it's appreciable that lots of uh, authorities are working for the betterment but at the end of the day it is impacting the social fabric and also putting pressure on the pockets of people increasing number of thefts and burglaries it's not surprising that each and every society here will have notices these days that they have to be aware and do not allow any foreign person to enter into the building that they don't know of because such has been the increase in the rate of crimes and thefts and burglaries people security is of prime concern now also it's sad to say but uh, I personally haven't seen lots of good response from the police here. I have some real examples of some thefts and uh, breakthroughs in the apartments of my friends and even after they reported uh, those incidents the people were never caught. Uh, despite the society being top notch having webcams and everything. So one has to be really really careful. My personal experience I was harassed once in metro station and I really recorded the video of the harasser as well and I made a complete FIR but till date it has been almost a year now I haven't heard anything so the moral of the story is that if you are ready for such crime structure and such responses from the authorities then only come here despite being a developed country technology wise the country is backward for example it's not very common that lot of things are automated or there are applications and websites available to fast track the process but till date lots of things are just done in the old way in a manual manner 2 to 3 days back i needed a document urgently and i have been dropping emails to my commune which is having a reputation of being a good commune in brussels but still i didn't get any response for 3 days and i have been visiting there every day but for expats there is no way to book online appointments or schedule uh, appointments using some application but only you have to make a call and yes no surprises there no call was picked for 3 days and only when the issue was escalated to the mayor and the other people of the commune then only i received that document so what i mean to say here is that you should not expect that you are coming to a developed country so things would be automated and really really fast but you will have to work a lot in plus to get your basic admin things done It's not true to say that Belgians only speak French and Dutch but they do know English but it's not really so much seen into the public spaces such as when you go to get your admin work done so when your work gets stuck or you really need to get things done on the ground level you cannot rely on english to get your work done example taking appointments at hospitals or any such thing so language becomes a big disappointment here because english though it's increasing in popularity but it's not very common getting an appointment as an expat into hospitals is also slow and i think that's the case for locals as well you should not expect to get an appointment with your doctor immediately the same day or let's say in the same week but you might have to wait for 2 weeks or more and it is completely normal so that means if you want to get an appointment at hospital you do not have a portal or an application where you can be self sufficient to choose your slot and see the real availability but you have to rely on either going to the health center directly or just call at the number and wait be in the queue wait for 10 15 minutes when your turn comes only to realize that the appointment is at your best case after one month or even three months this is my personal experience it is no surprise that radicalization has been increasing in europe as religious radicalization is increasing lots of areas in each of the major cities are emerging where even local people will find it difficult and uncomfortable to enter as a response to this far right political parties are also increasing popularity 
I don't want to comment on it it's good or bad but I just want to say to you that polarization is increasing and you should know that before coming to Belgium because it impacts the political life and life of the general public as well let's talk about mobility and traffic traffic in cities like Brussels is a nightmare and you will have to think twice before before taking out your car to travel in the city because traffic especially in the rush hours becomes horrible and you can expect delays that will change your agenda for sure and this not only leads to increased frustration but also increase in pollution levels and if you're coming to Europe with a point of view that you will enjoy the roads you'll have long beautiful scenic road trips let me tell you getting a driving license is extremely extremely difficult here and people spend a lot of money especially expats to get this driving license and uh, overall this might take from one to two years to complete the whole process and at the end of the time when you really receive this license you will lose your interest in driving this does not mean to blame anything on the system but it's a good point that the system is very difficult and only good drivers make it talking about housing whether you wish to rent an apartment or you want to buy an apartment or a house both the things are very expensive so you will not just pay a lot to buy the house itself but also a huge amount will go into the taxes and cherry on the cake it will not be an easy process because you'll have a hard time to find appointments meeting with the people and getting things done just in order to get those keys if you're someone who's planning to use the public transport for your everyday work let me tell you the public transport stations are not very clean and uh, there are lots of interruptions and delays in the public transport so you be ready for all those surprises not just that public transport is not very cheap here it is expensive talking about weather it's no surprise that Belgium's weather is one of the most depressing in the world especially the time from November to Feb end or March beginning the let me remind you in no way this video was intended to demotivate you or defame anyone or any country this is an honest experience you will not find anywhere and I believe this is very important to know because it's very important to know both the sides of a situation before you can make an informed judgment so I urge you make your own research calculate what will work good for you and make the best decision for you because this is a big step you are going to take these were all the negative sides or you can say the dark side about Belgium honestly while shooting this video I myself have become a bit demotivated should I move out of Belgium jokes apart there are lots of positive things also because life is not always sunny you make compromises and adjustments in every situation and that is also the life of an expat do watch all the videos on my channel especially the ones which are related to Belgium because I've shared some of very good things about this wonderful country as well don't hesitate to drop any comment and like this video subscribe to my channel and share with the people who you think will find this very very helpful I'll see you very soon in the next video till then bye bye thank you for watching